Hello, it's Ali and welcome back to another project. If you are new here, I design and 3D print RC color bodies and the STL files will be free to download. You can find the link in the description box below. So in today's project, I designed and 3D print a Jeep Wrangler. I started designing on SketchUp and then used my Creality Ender 3 for 3D printing. I used 0.12 mm layer height for printing the model, which is I think the best quality. I printed the body in 10 pieces in order to have less support. It took me about one week to complete the printing, plus the failed ones. Now all the parts is done, I will use super glue to glue them together. All the parts turned out good, but remember always use raft so you don't have any warp. Sometimes I'm gonna test now on a chassis to see if the wheelbase is correct and I'm still waiting for the rear bumper It's printing right now. It's gonna finish in any minute The body turned out great except the back I can fix it with a body filler, not a big deal. Now I will apply body filler only on the joints and then sand it with 150 grit sandpaper and then apply primer. I left the body filler to dry for a few hours and then came back to sand it with 150 grit sandpaper. Sanding the body filler till it gets flush with the body. Keep in mind if the body filler is thick on the body it will crack easily. So sand it till it gets thinnest possible. I am finally done sanding the body filler. Now I will apply primer. One spot paint run which I can sand it down when it gets right. I leave the primer to dry for one day. Now it's completely dry. I will sand it with 240 grit sandpaper and then wet sand it with a thousand grit sandpaper. The weather was so cold, 28 degrees. I barely finished the sanding and then came inside to finish the wet sanding. I 
brushing with sanding I wipe it off and grease it for painting I apply three coats the first coat will be thin so you don't have any paint run After few hours of applying third coat, I masked the body and painted the roof black, so as the fender flares later. I am unmasking the body while the black paint is wet, so I have a sharp edge. I did the same thing on the fender flares and then applied clear coat and let it dry for few days. Just look at it, isn't that awesome? I printed the custom body post, I didn't want to make a hole on this body. The body will be attached on a chassis with a servo, I will use the third channel on the remote control. I will make sure to put the remote control link in the description box below. This body pose will not be included with the body because every chassis needs a different size and different design but you get the idea, you can design for yourself too. Now I will take the outside and test drive it and as I said the STL files will be free to download you can find the link in the description box below and also the remote control I used. And for the part 2 of this video, I will install light bucket and light kit, and side mirrors, roof rack, body lines, and many more. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss the episode. And I will see you very soon in part 2. Bye for now.